good morning class so last time we have started the chapter that is the third chapter of your syllabus it is quality control test so in that we have started the first part that is the quality control test for container and projects so what is the quality control test so to check or to maintain the quality of a con container closure we have to go for some test this test comes under this the quality control test for containers and closures okay so packaging so for the protection of any substances or for enclosing any substances we have some technology for the enclosing or protecting the products for their safety their use their storage their distribution such the technology for the enclosing is called as the packaging okay so last time i had given one example what happens if the tablets or the capsule we are giving without a packaging so they may be the contaminant they may be the contaminant they may undergo some other chemical reaction so it will not be safe for the patient to use that tablet that capsule okay so for that what we have to do we have to pack this tablet this capsule or any other dosage form in suitable packaging material so that that drug that dosage form can be remain safe until patient is consuming that drug okay so for that the packaging is most important for the protection of the substance that the protection of the products the protection of the dosage form so this is very important okay so this packaging material they are primary secondary and tertiary packaging material so what is primary packaging material so in the primary packaging material this material is directly in contact with the product okay what is the secondary the primary packaging the primary packaging material along with the products we are added in the secondary it is generally utilized for the storage for the handling and for the transfer of that drug or that formulation that secondary packaging material we have to add in another carton for the safely transportation of that product that is the tertiary packaging so generally the drugs they have in the primary packaging secondary packaging as well as sometimes they have in the tertiary packaging okay for that i have given one example of a tablet the packaging of tablet what we have seen the paracetamol tablet the strip it is comes under the primary packaging but if you observe where they are taking the strip if you go to the medical and you ask for the strip of a paracetamol okay or strip of a crocin so they are taking out that crocin from one packaging eka packet mande te kaadta te packet mande jor pas 10 12 strips te packet mande asa te click strip kaadta ta ji tumhala detat so he ji packet that is the secondary packaging okay and he sage packet hai they during the transportation they have kept in a वन कार्टन या कार्टून मध्य बॉक्स मध्य जेने ट्रांसपोर्ट करना इजी जी सेफ दैट पैकेजिंग मटेरियल दे तर्शरी पैकेजिंग मटेरियल और यू कैन सी दैट इज द ट्रांसिट पैकेज सो इन दिस वे देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पैकेजिंग नाउ we will move to the next part that is the test of container so generally there are three types of container that is the glass container is also there plastic container is also there as well as there is a metal container as are also there. so we have to say check the different tests for the glass container plastic container as well as the metal container okay so what is the quality control test required ka quality control test required आता सपोज कुछ सेलिब्रिटी है बरबर है तो जो बाहर निगाला सो बाहर जता बॉडी गार्ड्स कशा फॉर द सेफ्टी ऑफ दैट 
सेलिब्रिटी बरबर है आता हेच बॉडीगार्ड जर लुकड़े आती मधे ताकद न सेल ओके एकदम बारीक आती मेहंगट आती इफ दे है डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ पॉवर का हो सेलिब्रिटी आशी जर बॉडीगार्ड हमें ताकत नहीं है लुकड़े हैं बारीक है अभी गए तो क्या हो बाहर जी जानता है तेला ऐकल का ऐकना नहीं सेलिब्रिटी से सेफ्टी ते बॉडीगार्ड्स प्रोवाइड करू शक नहीं मैं बॉडीगार्ड कश लगता मस्क्युलर आने लगे बॉडी चांगली फिटनेस मेन्टेन के लिए सो सच बॉडीगार्ड आर रिक्वायर फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ दैट सेलिब्रिटी सो सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ बॉडी गार्ड यू कैन सी दैट इज द कंटेनर दे आर रिक्वायर फॉर द सेफ्टी ऑफ दीज ड्रग और दी डोसेस फॉर्म और यू कैन से दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट सो सेलिब्रिटी यू कैन कंपेयर विद द ड्रग देन द बॉडी गार्ड यू कैन कंपेयर विद द पैकेजिंग मटेरियल और फॉर द कंटेनर सो दिस कंटेनर आर यूटिलाइज फॉर द सेफ्टी इट इज इफ रिक्वायर फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑल्सो इट इज रिक्वायर फॉर द स्टोरेज ऑल्सो सो फॉर एवरी थिंग दीज कंटेनर्स आर रिक्वायर ओके सो फॉर दैट टू चेक दिलेले बॉडीगार्ड कश है स्ट्रांग है का वीक है दैट इज दिलेले कंटेनर कश है स्ट्रांग है का वीक है फॉर दैट द क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टेस्ट फॉर द कंटेनर्स आर रिक्वायर सो दिस टेस्ट कैन बी द ग्लास कंटेनर दिस कैन बी फॉर प्लास्टिक कंटेनर दिस कैन बी फॉर द मेटल कंटेनर टू चेक विदर दिस कंटेनर आर स्ट्रांग इनफ to withhold any external hampering or any external problem which comes to the that drug. so it should be safe from the external environment so the such containers we have to check where to go for the quality control test for such containers so quality control test for the glass container so in that quality control test for glass container it includes the powder glass test then water attack test then hydrolytic resistant test then arsenic test thermal shock test internal bursting pressure test and leakage test so we will see one by one already we have seen i will just go through some test firstly so the, there are four types of glass so type 1 type 2 type 3 and type so the type one glass is made up of or that glass is made up of neutral or borosilicate glass while type 2 are the treated soda lime type 3 are only the soda lime glass type 4 are general purpose soda lime glass so in this way the glasses are classified into four types that is the type one type two type three and type four now we will start with the quality control test for the glass container okay so in that first is the powder glass test so as the name indicates powder means we have to powder the glass je container ahe te container tumhala break karayche tya container chi tumhala powder tayar karayche and tya powder chi aplyala test karayche that is the powder glass test by the name indicates we have to powder the glass with the mortar or rubbing on the rough surface so we have to make small powder we have to pass this powder through sieve and then we have to go for the testing of this powder glass that test or that work it comes under the powdered glass test so what we are doing we are estimating the amount of alkali which is leached from the powder glass okay so if that glass container if from that glass container any alkali metal is leaching from that glass container are, are they enters into the suppose syrup hai syrup ekada glass container madhe barobar hai tar tya glass container madun je alkali leach hote te syrup madhe jate ka ka glass container madun alkali leaches hot nahi kya bahar padat nahi so for that checking we have to go for the powder glass test Okay, so we have already gone detail through powder glass test. We have to powder it to check whether the leaching of alkali is present or not. Then we have to titrate it with 
sulfuric acid that is 0.02 normal sulfuric acid with methyl red as indicator so already we have seen so i will not go deeply through this test so this is the procedure here we have to ground the material or the container into the fine powder we have to pass through sieve then we have to wash the specimen with acetone then this is the procedure and at the end we have to use the solution and that we have to treat it with 0.02 normal sulfuric acid using the methyl rate indicator and we have to record the volume of sulfuric acid required for the getting end point then next stage that is the water attack test so here we have to use the whole container we don't have to break the container or we don't have we don't go for the powder of that container so we have to use the whole container intact container and this test is only performed for the soda lime glass okay so here we have to take whole container and from that we have to extract the liquid and that we have to titrate with 0.02 normal sulfuric acid using methyl red as indicator and we have to go for the test in taking the burette reading okay so that is about the water attack test so these are the type of glass and test so the glass of type 1 they go for the powder glass type 3 type 4 they go for the powder glass so the type 1 3 and 4 we have to perform the powder glass test but the for the type 2 glass container we have to go for the water attack test so this is the table regarding the details of this test and their limit then we have to see the hydrolytic resistance of glass container So hydrolytic resistance means we have to check whether the chemicals present in the dosage form or the chemical which is present in the products are they having some interaction with the glass chemicals or the chemicals or any material which is present in the glass is there any interaction that we have to check that is the hydrolytic resistance of glass container are they resist to the hydrolytic substances that comes under the this test so this is the procedure then acceptance for the criteria as per the hydro ip regarding the hydrolytic resistance then arsenic test so this test is performed where the drug or dosage form is come in direct contact with the package or with the packaging material or with the container for that we have to go for the arsenic testing so here we have to pipette out the solution then we have to add nitric acid then we have to keep it in the oven we have to add the hydrogen molybdate region we have to swirl it to dissolve and we have to keep it in the water bath we have to then cool and we have to check the absorbance at 840 nanometer and this absorbance or this reading we have to utilize for the checking whether what is the amount of arsenic it is present here we have to also go for the blank reading that is without the sample only taking the molybdate as a reagent we have to go for the blank reading then the, dis uh, then the reading difference between the blank reading and reading with the sample we have to take it as a actual reading then next test that is the thermal shock test as the name indicates is the container resist to the higher temperature and then again the lower temperature so for the thermal or for the temperature changes is 
the container is safe that we have to check during the thermal shock test if that container if we increase the temperature 200 300 like this and again we have to sudden cool it up to 40 50 so with that change in the temperature is your container remains safe okay we withstand without any break without any breaking of a glass or without any leaking of a glass that comes under the thermal shock test that is the bottles can they withstand with the temperature difference of 60 to 80 degrees celsius that we have to check by keeping it in the hot water and immediately into the cold water the next part that we haven't seen that is the internal bursting pressure test so as the name indicates internal bursting pressure so we have to increase the internal pressure of a container so that it undergo the bursting so how much pressure that container can be hold without any bursting so it is important to check the quality of the container or quality of the glass container can that container withstand with the increase the pressure so jodo bursting pressure just as it the just the pressure la withstand so that we have to check that is the internal bursting pressure test so here what we have to do we have to take the bottle fill with the water and we have to place inside the chamber of the here we can see we here we have to keep the bottle and then scaling head is applied and internal pressure automatically raised so as the pressure is automatically raised by the series of increment of which we have to set a time the bottle can check to the pre-selected pressure level and test continues until the container finally bursts. so uh, with the series of increment we have to increase the pressure on that bottle and after checking the pressure on the bottle we have to check for how much pressure it can be withstand with the pressure after that after some pressure the container finally burst okay so that pressure we have to maintain so it is the internal bursting pressure the next one it is the leakage test so if any leakage is there in the container or the glass container for that we have to go for this leakage test for that what we have to do we have to fill the drug in the container and we have to keep the container in the color solution in that solution we have to add the dye so we have to maintain the high pressure on that color solution as compared to the inside pressure of the glass container so that color so if any leakage is there or any crack is there any breakage is present so the color solution enters into the container if there is no breakage no leak no crack then it will not enter into the color solution will not enter into the container so if that container if it having some kind of colors or the color solution in that one that means there is a something breakage or something leak from the container or some cracks are present from the container okay so this is color solution in that color solution we have to keep the container okay so this is color solution so we have to apply high pressure on this color solution when high pressure is applied and if cracks are present in this container then this color solution it will enter into the container so by observing by your naked eye if there is any color particles or the color solution is present in the container that means it having some kind of leakage or the breakage or the crack is there on the container 
okay so this is about the leakage test now after moving from the quality control test for the glass container now we will move to the next part that is the quality control test for the plastic container for non parental preparations in that first one leakage test here we have to take a 10 containers of the plastic containers we have to fill with water and fit it with the closure and then they have to keep inverted at a room temperature for 20 hours and if there is no sign of leakage there is no breakage then it is said that the test is pass ok so j container I think ulta thewait suppose glass plastic bottle at a plastic bottle with a poor no pani pani maraisa and the bottle at the ulti thewait ok ulti with jc with a closure closure jay ahe ok you are j Zaka I take halcha side last of the first sugar and back side at the worst so 24 hours twice and sir after 24 hours if you found some kind of leakage or some sign of leakage then it does not pass as the test but if there is no leakage or there is no sign of leakage then it is said that the given test is pass okay so this is about the leakage test in second one collapsibility test so this test is applicable to the container which are to be squeezed in order to remove the container ji aplyala press kara lagtat kya squeeze kara lagtat for that we have to go for the collapsibility test so for that kind of container these test are utilized so a container by collapsing inward during the use Till at least 90% of normal content and require it to flow at an ambient temperature. Are you getting my point? What is collapsibility test? It is generally useful for the containers which are to be squeezed. So, upon jay the container switch squeeze karto. This quiz can enter no what percent can no what the kg internal content and the tumor look content that they contain no what the kateri bahir alibi with normal rate there is a no what the kv was still by her that means you were tested pass that is the collapsibility test so when we squeeze the container it should release 90 percent of normal content at normal and require right that means the test is pass okay so leakage test means we have to keep 10 containers with full of water at inverted movement for 24 hours and after 24 hours if there is any leak any sign of breakage that means the test does not pass if there is no leakage no breakage that means the test is pass then second uh, collapsibility test in that test it is generally used for the container which are to be squeezed and if we squeeze the container it should not it should release 90 percent of content or 90 percent of total content at required rate of flow at ambient temperature so that is if such 90 percent normal content is comes out of the that container that means the test is pass then next one the clarity of aqueous extract that is the third test so the container the plastic container it is generally taken in the random mode then these portions are cut into strip okay and these strips are washed so here they have shown like this they are cut into the strip so these strips are washed and then sample is taken into the flask we have to add the chromic acid and rinse with the water then we have to add 250 ml of distilled water we have to cover and autoclave at 120 degrees celsius for 30 minutes 
the extract is cool and examined it should be colorless and free from any kind of turbidity if there is turbidity that means it does not pass as the test if there is no turbidity that means the given test is passed given container is a given container can be used for the their process are you getting my point so like shown in the figure we have to cut the piece of a container then we have to cut in such a way that we have to cut into the strips then there we have to keep into the flask we have to add a chromic acid then we have to rinse with water then we have to add 250 ml of distilled water to that flask then we have to cover that flask we have to keep it at a glow for 120 degrees celsius for 30 minutes if there is no turbidity or it is colorless or free from turbidity that means it passes the test there is no problem with the container then we go to the next stage that is the water vapor permeability test it is generally applicable for injectable preparations okay chadi se apan bhi le test hota hai collapsibility hoti okay so such test it was for non parental this test for the applicable for the injectable preparation it is the water vapor permeability so we have to take five containers we have to fill it and we have to seal the bottle with aluminum foil then we have to take the weight of each container so pats container gaiche ya pade water add karaycha tetcha je seal hai bottle cha te aluminum foil na pack karun taka and tya पाच कंटेनरचं वेट घ्यायचं आणि त्या पाच कंटेनर हे चौदा दिवसासाठी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाय डिग्री सेल्सिअसला ठेवायचं आफ्टर फोर्टीन डेज वर टू अगेन टेक द दीज फाईव्ह कंटेनर्स वर टू चेक द वेट असं केल्यानंतर इफ द लॉस ऑफ वेट ऑफ कंटेनर टेक्स प्लेस मोर दॅन झिरो पॉईंट टू पर्सेंट दॅट मीन्स इट डज नॉट फॉलो द टेस्ट दॅट मीन्स it the container is not utilized for the injectable if it is change in the weight is less than 0.2% that means the containers are okay for the use so that means we have to take the container five containers we have to fill with the water we have to seal it with the aluminum foil we have to keep it for 14 days at 20 to 25 degrees celsius and again 14 days we have to reweigh the bottles So after reweighing the weight of water will decrease if it decreases not more than 0.2 percent then container is okay and we can utilize that container okay so that is the water water vapor permeability test next is light transparency test so from a plastic bottle how much amount of light it can transfer into the content of the that plastic container that we have to check by the light transparency test so it should not exceed 10% at any wavelength ranges from 290 to 450 nanometer so this test is generally utilized to check the effect of light when they pass through the bottles for their stability and the appearance for that we have to cut the section of circular section of two or more areas of container we have to wash it we have to dry it and we have to mount it on the spectrophotometer and measure the transmissions okay so it is does not exceed the 10 percent okay, that is the test. next test that is the clarity of aqueous extract so we have to suitable container we have to take we have to convert it into the strips then we have to take two separate portions of distilled water for 20 seconds after transfer to flask we have to wash with the chromic acid we have to mix it we have to rinse it we have to keep it for the autoclave at 120 degrees celsius for 30 minutes then we have to go for the blank determination using only the water solution we have to cool and examine the extract this extract should be colorless and free from turbidity so this 
clarity of aqueous extract okay so this is for the sterile preparation also okay so these are some tests which are required for the plastic container okay so first one is the leakage test we have to take the container we have to fill with the water we have to keep it in the inward position for 24 hours and we have to check for any leakage if there is a sign of leakage that means this container is not useful it is the leakage test then collapsibility test it is generally used for the container which are to be squeezed when we squeeze that container the 90 percent of the content should be come with the normal range or the required rate and the ambient temperature so that is the collapsibility test then third test that is the clarity of aqueous extract here what we have to do we have to cut the strip of the plastic material we have to add into the flask then we have to add the chromic acid then water and this solution we have to keep at 120 degrees celsius for 30 minutes in autoclave and when we are removing from the autoclave we have to cool it and after cooling we should check the physically the nature of the liquid if it is colorless and free from turbidity that means given container passes the test so given container we can utilize for their that doses for so, so these were the tests for the non-parental now we will move to the test of plastic container these containers are utilized for the generally parental preparation or injectables so here what we have to do in the water vapor permeability we have to take the five containers we have to fill that container we have to seal with aluminum foil and we have to keep for the 14 days at room temperature 20 to 25 degrees celsius and after 14 days we have to take the weight of container so before 14 days what was the weight of container and after 14 days what will be the weight of container so that difference should not be more than 0.2% for the passing the test the, the light transparency test so through the plastic container should not exceed 10 percent of light of any anyway, ranging from 290 nanometer to the 450 nanometer and clarity it is same for the non-parental also now from quality control test of the container that is the plastic container and glass container we are now moving to the next part that is the closures so here you can check some examples of closures okay so it is the device which is useful for the tightly packing of the container so that any external oxygen any gas any moisture microbes it should not enter into the container hence for the tightly packaging of any container this device is used so this part of container system but it does not directly come in the contact with the truck so generally these closures are present in the form of aluminium or they are present in the form of rubber okay so these are the closures so role of closure it should not allow the interference of external material with the content of the container actually it is not indirectly contact with the content or it is not indirectly contact with the substance which is present in the or the product which is present in the container so these closures they are classified into rubber closures they in caps and over seals then special type of closures okay the screw cap crown or cap snap friction fit so these are all the, the closures so this is the examples of closures okay, so overall in short the closures which are present along with the container to fit the container so that there is no external material can enter into the container to avoid the contamination of container these closures are present then what is the quality control test for the closure then for that or before going any quality control test we have to first prepare the sample so the closures we have to wash with 
0.2 percent weighed by volume of ionic surface of active agent for five minutes. Then after that, we have to reach the closures five times with distilled water, and we have to add 200 ml of distilled water, and we have to attack for 119 to 123 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes with covering with the aluminum foil. Then we have to cool it and we have to separate the solutions from the closure and this solution is solution A. Are you getting my point? So how we have to prepare the sample? So we have to wash the closure with 0.2% weight of ionic surface of active agents then we have to wash with the distilled water we have to add 200 ml of water then we have to attaclave it and after attaclave we have to separate the closure and the solution so solution which is we are separating that solution is called as solution A and this solution A is the sample solution that can be utilized for the quality control test of the closure so first is the residue on evaporation so that solution of 50 ml we have to take this evaporate to the dryness on water bath and dry it at 105 degrees celsius after drying the weight of the residue it should not be more than 4 milligram here is solution hai his solution heat karay so heat karay nantar teacher manle je liquid hai te evaporate will and je solid material hai te je solid material hai jo residue hai तो 4 मिलीग्राम पेक्षा जास्त असता का मत वेट ऑफ दैट रेसिड्यू शुड नॉट बी मोर देन 4 मिलीग्राम दैट इज द रेसिड्यू ऑन इवापोरेशन देन सेकंड टेस्ट दैट इज द स्टेरिलाइजेशन टेस्ट सो द क्लोजर इज यूज्ड फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सैंपल सॉल्यूशन शॉल नॉट सॉफ्टन और बिकम टैकी एंड देयर शैल बी नो विजुअल चेंज इन द क्लोजर that is the sterilization test. This closure upon vapor le lahe. The closure soft hota ka maane ki ya tacky hota ka maane. Okay, so that is the sterilization test. Third one, that is the pH of aqueous extract. So the solution A, in that we have to add 0.1 ml of bromothinyl blue solution. Not more than 0.3 ml of 0.01 molar NOH or 0.8 ml of 0.1 molar HCl is required to change the color of solution to the blue or yellow. So from that we can check the pH of the aqueous extract. So J upon solution can arrive with ml upon the bromothymol blue solution we have to add. After adding we have to titrate it and for the titration if we are using the NOH or SCL, it should not more than 0.3 ml ml of NOH and 0.8 ml of SCL to change the color of solution blue or yellow. NOH add color blue, HCl barber titrate color yellow. So this is with NOH and this is with the SCL. So SCL ki this angle pay 0.8 ml mixture just to use hota ka mane. So either NOH or color it should not be more than 0.8 3 ml so that is about the pH of aqueous extract then fourth is that is the self stability test so with this needle we have to peer 10 times and after piercing we have to immerse that one in the 0.1 methylene blue solution and subject to the pressure 27 kPa then we have to restore the pressure that is the atmospheric pressure and made to stand for 30 minutes at that time there should not be any kind of traces of color solution if we got the traces of the color solution that means we are having some kind of contamination so that is the self stability test so needle we have to immerse it 10 times then we have to keep it in methylene blue solution and we have to subject to the pressure then we have to bring it to the normal room temperature pressure that is atmospheric pressure 
and ask or made it to stand for 30 minutes if any color traces are not formed then this closure is okay for using with the container okay so these are the four tests with the closure so i will again repeat you closure is the part of container which is packed the container so that there is no any external material it can be entered into the container okay so for that we have to prepare a sample for the quality control test so this is the method by which we can prepare a sample and this sample can be utilized for the residue operation sterilization test ph of aqueous extract and self stability test okay so these are the four tests we can utilize for the testing of closure or quality control of closure okay so regarding next part that will be seen in the next lecture so we will stop here so we have until we have seen the quality control test for the glass container quality control test for the plastic container and quality control test for the closures okay so with this we stop here remaining part we will see in the next lecture